there was a period of my life when I just lived in groundnut and banana, that's all. Because it has everything you need, just soaked groundnut, one handful, this much of groundnut soaked overnight, one banana, my entire day would go. I'm perfectly active, more active than most people will ever imagine. It has everything to sustain you. It's a complete food by itself. If you soak it for over six to eight hours, it takes away certain aspects which are called as pitta. You know what's pitta? The Ayurveda is based on this, Ushna, Shita and Pitta. It takes away the pitta and taking this soaked ground and chewing it well in one banana will easily sustain you for a whole day, very easily. See, right now we have adopted the Western system of eating the fruit at the end. That was never the way they did it in India, do you know? Always fruit was eaten first, then you give about an hour's break and then you eat your meal. That's how it should be because fruit is digested very quickly. You eat uh, food which goes through the system slowly and then you put fruit on top of it, fruit will just go waste. Fruit should always go fast because it will go very quick through the system. You get best benefit from the fruit only if you eat it on an empty stomach and then you eat the other thing. See, every substance has a certain reverberance to it, everything in the universe. Now we are trying to identify things which will push us in a particular direction. Rudraksha is one of those items which has a very unique type of reverberation. And there are various other aspects to it. it it brings down the blood pressure in your system, your nerves will be calm, all these kind of things. Today doctors are prescribing Rudraksha in India. For hypertension, cardiac ailments, doctors are actually prescribing Rudraksha because it has a certain reverberation which calms the whole system. The main purpose is to make you available to grace. Because ultimately, it doesn't matter what circus you do, what yoga you do, what else you do, ultimately it's only by becoming available to grace. There are different kinds of yogis. I am not <laughs> I am not the kind who raises the dead. I awaken the living. The dead should stay dead, it's very important. Bringing back all the dead is not going to work. And above all, life is a process of recycle whatever grand ideas we may have about ourselves, we're just a recycle, we come and we go and maybe come back again. But the important thing is, when we are here, alive, to be fully awake and present to the life which we are and the life that's around us, if we are absolutely present to this, then we will see that we are not an individual life. We are a phenomena of life process with the privilege of individual experience. But we are a massive phenomena in the cosmos. It is fantastic that you and me are a part of it. So you and me, gives us the ability to interact, to play. Meditation is a homecoming, a way to settle at your innermost core. Meditation is not about relieving your headache. <laughs> Meditation is not about having conversation with gods that you believe in. Meditation is not about going to heaven. Meditation is about coming to the very root of who we are. What does this mean? This, to put it in simplistic terms, what it means is, in a way meditation is about going beyond. I'm not saying going beyond like this. You go beyond like this means it's death. This is going beyond physiological and psychological process, going to a, a deeper place than body and mind. In this, life happens in a way 
that you cannot imagine because all the struggles, the pains, struggles and botherations of life are only in the physiological and psychological. Once you are beyond, even for a moment, you have a clear picture of the nature of your physiology and psychology. Your ability to handle your body and mind will be tremendously enhanced simply because you have seen it from another perspective, a transcendent perspective. Meditation, is it a choice? No, it is a must for everyone. There are different kinds of yogis. I am not <laughs> I am not the kind who raises the dead. I awaken the living. The dead should stay dead, it's very important. Bringing back all the dead is not going to work. And above all, life is a process of recycle. Whatever grand ideas we may have about ourselves, we're just a recycle, we come and we go and maybe come back again. But the important thing is, when we are here, alive, to be fully awake and present to the life which we are and the life that's around us. If we are absolutely present to this, then we will see that we are not an individual life, we are a phenomena of life process with the privilege of individual experience. But we are a massive phenomena in the cosmos. It is fantastic that you and me are a part of it. So you and me gives us the ability to interact, to play, 